hello guys welcome to my youtube channel once again thanks for clicking on this video if you are new here please remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos without much ado let's get started so great new we have print we select our a3 size we have resolution 300 and we create I have my canvas open right here. I'm going to double click and unlock this background. I'd like to notepad and copy this hexa code. So I'm going to click to add a solid color for. Paste my hexa code right here. I'd like to file place embedded. So I have my item in downloads right here. So I'm going to select the and I place. Click the check mark to confirm. Convert this layer to a smart object. Control T and I transform. So we make it bigger. Adjust it a bit. You adjust. Okay, we click the check mark to confirm. So I'm going to change the blend mode to soft overlay and reduce the opacity down to 55. And I'm going to create a max. Grab my gradient tool. So I have the gradient set to foreground to transparent. I click OK. And I'm going to drag this way. Okay. Cut my rectangle to the rectangle shape right here. Change the color for to this color right here. And I'm going to have the stroke size as zero. So we have we're having no stroke size. Increase the corner radius. We yeah, adjust this, press Ctrl A and we center horizontal edges. Copy this. So I grab my test tool and paste. First of all, change the color for to white. And I'm going to paint this right here. We paste, we click the check mark to confirm. So I grab my test tool. Highlight and cut this. Sorry, we highlight and we cut. Click the check mark to confirm. And I paste right here. So I'm going to make this all uppercase. Increase the size to 54. So I have it right here. V, grab my move tool and adjust it right in this shape. Select this. Head to to character properties and change this to all uppercase. Change the color flow to this extra code right and copying right here. So we paste and click OK. So I'm going to adjust this right here. Change the leading. To 75. Control T and I transform. So we have it this way. We're going to adjust that. Okay. So I want to notepad and copy all these tests right here. Grab my test tool and paste. Click the check mark and change the font. So we have Benghazi bold.
So I'll grab my test tool and cut. I'm going to highlight and cut this. Click the check mark. And I'm going to paste it right here. Click the check mark. Changing the size to 100. So we'll adjust this right here. Cut this. So I grab my move tool and I'm going to transform this control T. So we adjust it right over here. We change the size to 84. Click the check mark and we adjust that. So I grab my test tool. Change the font. So we have Nova. So we will undo that. Grab my test tool. So we're going to paste this test and change the font to Nova. Okay, we click OK. Change the color font. So I'm going to copy this extra code. And paste it right here, click OK. Got my move to Ctrl T and I transform. Got my rectangle to and draw rectangle shape right hand like this. Very small, and then we have the color fill as white. So I'm going to select the conference and add a layer star. So we're going to add a drop shadow. I have the opacity at 46, the distance at 15. That's okay. So I'm going to select these three, these four layers, this one. So we include OK and Ctrl G. We move this. Select this layer to the top. Control G. So I have one right here. Okay. Control G. Then we group. So we have this as one group. Control T. We transform it a bit. Click the check mark. So I grab my rectangle to. So we close that, close that, do a rectangle shape right here. So we have the fill as right and I'm going to increase the corner radius. So we have 141, grab my move to adjust this right here. So we transform a bit. So I'm going to select this. Right click and skew. So we'll drag this way to skew to the right. Click the check mark to confirm. So head over to notify and copy this test. Grab my test tool. I have the full right there, but I'm going to change it later. Click the check mark. So I grab my move tool. And I'm going to change the font and the size so we uncheck all our packages. So we set the font size to 31. We uncheck all our packages and we're going to change the size, the font. Okay, to this font right here. So 
so change the color for to this background color click ok i'm going to adjust this grab my text tool so we press enter we click the check mark so we have it this way v for move to we adjust this okay so we transform the shape a bit click the check mark and what to notify and copy all these tests grab my test tool and paste right here click the check mark to confirm So I grab my move to select this and I'm going to change the size. This is too big. So we have the size assisting. So we move the shape a bit, okay. We adjust this. So I'm going to change the tracking. Sorry, the leading to 24. So we have 30. No, this is too big. So let's change it to 26. All right, so we have it this way. Click the check mark. So we make this smaller. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to adjust group one. Okay, so we have it this way. So I head over and select a custom shape too. So I have this shape right here. I already have the shape selected so I just draw it right here change the color for to this color so we have the stroke size and we are going to set it to no stroke size no stroke sorry so we're going to transform and adjust it right here We adjust it click the check mark to confirm we transform we make it smaller a bit so press enter or click the check mark hold alt and drag so we have it right here hold alt and drag again so alt and drag so we do another we have another copy So we select these three layers. I'm going to move it. I do to far place embedded. Select this item in I place. I click the check mark. Convert to smart object. Control T I transform. Sorry, we undo that. Control T. We transform. And I'm going to change the. I'll drop this layer down first. So we have it right here. Change the blend mode to soft light. Reduce the opacity. So we have 66. Sorry, we have 64. Okay. And I'm going to create a max. Grab my gradient tool. <laughs> okay, let's reduce the opacity once again to 55. Okay. So I have this layer selected and I have the max right here. So grab the gradient tool 
and drag this way so apply same effect to the top okay this is okay so i grab my ellipse tool and do an ellipse shape right here So control T and I transform. Control J and I duplicate. Control J we duplicate once more. And I'm going to disable 10 of these layers. Head over to file. Place embedded. And select this item right here. Okay, we select this first. Click the check mark. Convert this to a smart object. We are going to drop this layer right here. So we have it on top of the first and it's control T we transform. We we'll make it bigger. We'll click the check mark. So we're going to right click and create a clipping max. Click the check mark to confirm. So we have the second and is the layer, the, the second one. Head back to file place embedded. And select this and select this item. Jack ma. Convert this to a smart object. Control T V transform. Click the check mark to confirm. So we'll create a clipping marks. So we have the third layer. So we select Okay, we select this image you place. Right click, convert to a smart object. Control TV transform. We create a clipping mark. So you hold Alt and when you have that sign, you click. So we're going to group this. Select these two layers, Ctrl G, we go. These two layers as well, Ctrl G, we go. So select all three layers and I group them. Ctrl A, we have it right in the center, Ctrl D, I did select. Click the check mark. So we have it right in the center. Head over to Notepad. Copy this text right here. So I'm going to change the color from to white. Have my rectangle to do a rectangle shape right here. So we're going to all this. So we have it right here. We increase so we have 70 70 as the corner radius. Ctrl A and we center right in the middle. So I have group 5 and I move it down a bit. So 
so I have this layer on top we transform this click the check mark to confirm I'm going to change the color for to this background color zoom in control T we transform I have my rectangle to select it. I draw a shape right here. So we have the colorful as this yellow. So we have no stroke. So we head over to the properties and increase. So we have our corner radius at 77. We increase it. Okay. We select this. We right click and we scale. So we're going to scale up this way. Click the check mark to confirm. I'm going to adjust this. We undo that and do. So repeat the same. So we are just select this. Right click and scale. So we will do that again. Have the fill as this yellow. No stroke size. So we draw a rectangle shape. I'm going to increase the corner radius right here. Grab my move to select this. Right click and skew. Okay, so we are just to transform it a bit. Click the check mark confirm. Then let's copy the name Steve Harvey. I grab my test tool and paste. So we have the color flash right. have my test tool and I'm going to paste this right here click the check mark so I'm going to change that so I have title case or title case change the font to Nova and I have the size as 30 So we'll click the check mark. We adjust it right here. We increase the size to 36. Sorry, 36. So we adjust it. Hold alt and drag. We duplicate. Hold Alt and drag. So we have it right here. Head over to Notepad and copy this. So we copy this first. Jack Ma. We select and we're going to change this. So we we'll paste. So we we'll paste right here. Click the check mark. We select. We copy. We highlight and copy, we select this. We highlight and we paste. So we'll click the check mark to confirm. Grab my move tool. And I'm going to adjust this right here. We have this as well. We have jack mask. So we have one in line now. Click the check mark. Put alt and drag to duplicate that. 
I'm going to change the color to white. So we collapse this. We scroll down, we're going to zoom in, grab our text to highlight and edit this. So we're going to type register. So we adjust this a bit. We we'll click the check mark. We'll click the check mark. Grab my test tool. We add, we highlight and we type now. Change the color to to this color. I got my move to control TI transform. So we have it right here. We have it called, we have it right under register. We adjust it. We have my rectangle to draw rectangle shape right under this. So we change the full to white. I'm going to zoom in control J. So I have another duplicate. So I have a duplicate of this layer. I'm going to drop it down. Click the check mark. I'm going to change the corner radius. So we have it right here. Select this. We click the check mark. We'll select this layer. I'm going to duplicate with alt and drag. Have my test tool. We highlight and we change the test. design so we'll click the check mark T for test tool we're going to change the size okay so we have it we change the color for to this background color we're going to change the size once again this is too small so we have this layer at the top We'll move it to the top. I'm going to change the, the size again to 11. Sorry, we have 12. Fourteen. Okay, this is fine. Try about the notepad. I'm going to copy this. Grab my test tool and I'm going to paste right here. Click the check mark. I'm going to drag it onto this shape. So we'll change the font. We zoom in. Go to T, we transform. Click the check mark to confirm. So I grab my test tool. Paragraph. And I align it or and I align it center. I'm going to highlight this. And change it to set. So I'm going to set it to all our packets. Change the size to 24, okay, and collapse this. So we adjust it. So we have it right here. We select this layer with a rectangle. 
control G with group. So we have this group right here. We move it up. And I'm going to select group 5. Which is the speakers. So we move the speakers up. Select uh, this layer to the third one, we move it up. Go about far, place embedded. Select this icon, the location icon. Click the check mark. So have it on top, right click, convert to small object. So control T I transform. Make it smaller, okay. So we can do that. We zoom in, transform it a bit. Click the check mark to confirm. And I'm going to add a color overlay. So we we'll have this as white. Okay, white is okay. So we have white. Head over to notes bar and copy this test. So I grab my test tool and I'm going to paste this right here. Click the check mark. So we'll change the size to 2018. Okay. Change the font to this font right here. I'm going to change the size. To 18. Grab my test tool, press enter, click the check mark. So we can do that. Click the check mark and we change that. So we adjust it. So we have the leading set to 16. Okay. We'll change that again. We have the leading set to 16. Head over to note, head over to file place embedded. Select the time and date. Click the check mark. I'm going to add a color value. I have white click OK. Collapse this. So we do control T we transform. We transform, we make it smaller, adjust it right here. Click the check mark. Head over to file. Head over to notes part, sorry. We're going to copy this. So I hold this alt and drag to duplicate. And I'm going to grab my test to and highlight this and paste it right here. Click the check mark to confirm. So we're going to adjust it, we move it up. We have the location. We adjust this a bit. Click the check mark. So we have it right here. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again. See you in my next tutorial.